everyone, Big Lord Scythe here, and I got a question for you. What would happen if anime became mainstream? Now, you may be wondering what it is that I'm talking about. I have recently discovered that anime is becoming more and more popular. Enough so that it's almost becoming a more accepted part of geek culture. That I honestly wouldn't mind. Because I honestly think that it's something that can be proudly worn on their sleeve. Arm in arm with gaming. Arm in arm with sci-fi. Arm in arm with everything in our kind of culture. Now, do I want it to become mainstream per se? No. There's just one thing I'm wanting for people to stop relating to with anime. And that is the stereotypes. Now, I covered that in an earlier video, but I think I can cover it better now. Alright. Anime is known for a few things. Having a different art style. Which... Oh. Which some people will just go, oh. It's a cartoon. No, it's not. There is a distinct difference between anime and cartoon. And you know what that would be? That would be the actual storyline. Yes, there are a few kid-centered animes, but... No. The majority is when it goes to the teen direction. And... Yeah, a lot of people don't really understand that. They don't understand the difference between anime and cartoons. Another thing, the obsessive fan service. Yes, there's fan service. Yes, a lot of it is unnecessary, if not all. But. I mean, come on. Other shows don't have fan service. You're really gonna tell me that? Anyways. Anime becoming mainstream. The thing stopping it. Oh yes. And the one you all know what was gonna happen. The one you all know I was gonna brush up on. The one where everyone who has not seen an anime and thinks they know everything about it automatically relates to anime. And they think when I try to show them, when I try to get them to experience an anime, they're, they're just waiting for, okay, when's this tentacle thing going to come out? That is not anime. Let me make that right clear. Yes, there is animated... Yes, there is animated that. I'm not comfortable saying that word, so I'm sorry for the pause. So, yeah. Anime does have that. Real life shows have that. So, why is it no one here relates live action shows with that kind of anime? Well, that kind of anime shun. Pardon me. Why? I cannot tell you that. I'm just saying, these stereotypes need to stop. If you really think you know everything about anime, if you're saying it's childish, go watch an episode of Elven Lee. If you think there's too much fan service or there's 
No real deep emotion. Try an episode of Clan Ed. Think there can be no action. Oh, where do I begin? Think there can't be any suspense. Death Note. Anime is an art form. I don't care if it goes mainstream. If it does, we're just going to have to deal with it. If it doesn't, it'll still keep that little flair, but we'll be keeping people out of this terrific art form. And, yeah, so, if it goes mainstream, it'll go mainstream. There, there is nothing we can really do to stop it. But if it doesn't, then we're stuck in the shadows. We have to keep our wall scrolls in our closet. We have to hide our collection whenever company comes. And that I really don't agree with. I think that it's something, like I said earlier, that should be worn with pride. Well, that can be worn with pride. Something that I think should at least be, should at least, <clears throat> should people at least try to understand. At least try. That's all I'm asking all you that don't watch anime or are on the fence about it. Anime Guru has a whole video, Why Watch Anime. Go check that out. The A to Z of anime becoming mainstream. That's a good video. <clears throat> Anyways. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, my throat's been bugging me today. Anyway, Big Lord Scythe, signing off. See ya.